Good morning, friends. Miss Heather here. All right, let's start off with our good morning song. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. I'm glad you're watching today. Okay, before we start off with our book, let's say our church words. Here at Unitarian Church, we are people of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Good job! This week I have a special book because school is starting back next week already. So for any of you that are going to be going into kindergarten this year, Listen up, this is a special book for you called Kindergarten, Here I Come. And if you're not going into school yet, that's okay too. This will kind of show you what you're gonna get ready for when you get to go to kindergarten in the next couple years. It's a cute story. Okay, Kindergarten, Here I Come. Kindergarten, here I come. I'm checking off the list of everything I need for school. Let's see what I have missed. Got a list. Backpack, check. Glue stick, check. A labeled cubby box, check. Extra pair of underwear, check. Extra pair of socks, Check. Crayons. Check. Scissors. Check. Mom says I'm all set. But wait. There is tons of other stuff I'd better not forget. My cuddle bear. My magic wand. My superhero cape. And two flashlights. And a tool set in case I must escape. Huh, Mom says, to put those things back where I took them from. She says that I won't need that stuff. She promised school won't be too rough. I hope she's right. I really do, because kindergarten, here I come. And see, look. He's thinking about taking his cape and his cuddle bear and he's got a toolbox ready. My teacher. My teacher did a magic trick the minute that I came. I don't know how, but pesto poof. She somehow knew my name. Then bam, she figured out I'm nice and that I'm really smart. And just like that, she seemed to know how I am good at art. I think she used some magic spells to make the whole day fun. Of all the teachers in the world, I'm glad that she's my one. And sorry, one of my toddlers got to this book and they kind of scribbled in it, but it's okay. It's still such a great story. Oh, Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Here's how you sit crisscross applesauce. Hands in our lap. No feet on sauerkraut, no cottage cheese on your knees, no bottoms up coffee cup, no blueberry jelly on your belly, but crisscross applesauce, that's the way we sit. So they're all sitting crisscross applesauce, hands in their lap. Once upon a story time, goblins and bunnies, kings and queens. Cats and hats and magic beans. Once upon a far away, which book will we read today? And there's the teacher reading story to all the children. 
Yellow lunchbox. I love you, yellow lunchbox. Click, I open you to see what treasures lie inside today. What did mom pack for me? Aha, uh -huh. so there you are below those good things I should eat. I found you, chocolate cupcake. You're my favorite part, my treat. You got his yellow lunchbox and there's his chocolate cupcake. And this friend has a blue lunchbox. Missing tooth. I was munching on an apple when suddenly crunch. My tongue felt something missing. Uh-oh. And I had a little hunch. Out came a tiny pebble, all shiny, smooth, and white. Hey, look, the tooth fairy's coming to my house tonight. She lost a tooth eating an apple, do you see? Ooh, look, do you know what color that is? Pink lunchbox, and which one is that? Purple, good job. Recess. I'm a fireman to the rescue, down the pole I slide. Look, now I'm a monkey, monkey swinging side to side. I'm a climber up the mountain. I'm queen of this whole town. Check me out, I'm a bat hanging upside down. Watch me creep across this beam. I'm a sneaky thief raccoon. I'm a pilot of the rocket ship zooming up to the moon. In only half an hour, we are all these things and more till recess time is over and we head back indoors. Oh, that looks like the cool rocket ship. Oh, and she's queen of the mountain. Here he is walking across the balance beam. I love recess, how about you? It's one of my favorite parts of the day. Counting craze. There are 22 children in room 109. A guinea pig, three goldfish, and one cuddle bear, mine. There's one really nice teacher with eight buttons on her dress and one billion polka dots, more or less. There are 39 crayons that fell out of the box. 50 th f f 53 cars and 87 blocks. 24 food cans in our make-believe shop. Oh, help, I've learned how to count. Now I just can't stop. Oh, she's counting cans and there's his cuddle bear. And there's the blocks they were counting and the cars and the guinea pig. Three goldfish. Nope, oh, those are all those purple polka dots on the teacher and her eight buttons down the dress. No nap wrap. I'm not tired. I'm not sleepy. I'm wide awake, you see. It's daytime. It's playtime. You say nap time? Not for me. I'll lie flat upon the mat, but I'm not counting sheep. You can snooze, but I refuse. Oh no, I will not go to zzzz. Look at all those Z's. It means he fell asleep. See that? Nap time. Nap time's good because it gives you energy to get through the rest of your day. <gasps> field trip. Hooray, hooray, a field trip day. Adventures in the air. Driver, driver, please don't stop until you get us there. We squeal and hoot, we screech and roar and stomp the whole way through, just like a bunch of animals until we reach the zoo. In their school bus. Look, I see a lion and a monkey at the zoo. Best friends. Heather, oh, hey, she has the same name as me. 
was my best friend this morning on the bus. But she talked so much to Shauna that I made my best friend Gus. But Gus said he was Noah's friend and I wouldn't take it back. So I had to go trade him for a better best friend, Zach. Zach wouldn't share the box of blocks, so what else could I do? At lunchtime, I sat right down beside my newest best friend, Sue. Then Sue ate half my cupcake. I didn't say she could. In art, I was all by myself. I was alone. I was done with friends for good. Then someone came and asked me, can we paint together? Here's his friends. It started off here. And now this little girl asked if they could paint together. So on the bus ride home again, my new best friend was Heather. George. I have a kindergarten friend who isn't very big. I'm talking about George Washington, our classroom guinea pig. I always stop to talk to him about the stuff we like. I tell him what's on TV and how to ride a bike. I'm teaching him his ABCs and how to draw a heart. He always pays attention that George is clearly very smart. Oh, that's his classroom guinea pig, George. George Washington. Who must be named after our president, George Washington. 100th day of school. I bought 100 marbles inside my plastic cup. Zach brought 100 chocolate chips till someone ate them up. Oh, looks like he's eating them up. Nina's 100 toothpicks all came inside one box and Alea brought a picture of her 100 chicken pox. I used to think 100 was a lot when I was small, but now that it's the 100th day, I'm old enough to say 100 isn't all that many, many days at all. I showed a picture, and there's her 100 toothpicks. Show and tell. Today's my turn for show and tell, but somehow I forgot. I could have brought in Cuddle Bear or, or else my new robot. I could have brought my new snow globe or my cool vacation hat. I could have brought my goldfish, except I didn't think of that. So now my hands are empty and my teacher's calling me. But hang on, I see something staring right in front of me. So he thought I could have brought all these things, but he forgot. So what is he gonna do? <gasps> Quick! I draw two dots on my finger while I stand and I make my thumb into a mouth. I'm gonna make his hand talk. Hi class, please meet my hand. Look, he made a little face. Line leaders. Line up time. It's a race. Everybody wants first place. But I go slowly. I don't run because I'm the line leader. I was picked the line leader. So make way kids for number one. He got to go to the front and be line leader. Growing seeds. We planted seeds in paper cups and put them on the sill. We watered them and watched and watched and watched those cups until I peeked today and check it out, a little baby seedling sprout. Oh, so cool, it sprouted up. Planting is so much fun. Growing me. 
What happened to my favorite pants? The ones that used to fit. Now they came up to my knees when I try to sit. My toes can't wiggle in my shoes the way they used to do. I think somebody shrunk my clothes. Or could it be I grew? He grew. Last day. I hugged my teacher, please don't cry. And she said, beg your pardon? I said, we're going to first grade, but you'll be stuck in kindergarten. He hugged his teacher goodbye. Cause now they get to go on to first grade, but look how much their plants have grown. Wow. The end. What I like about this book is it gives you an idea of everything that kindergarten has to offer. And speaking of, if you are going back to school, make sure you get all your school supplies, like your lunchbox and your backpack and your markers and crayons and anything else that your teacher gives you a list. I miss you guys all so much. I can't wait to see everyone. And if you are going to kindergarten or back to school, good luck, everyone. Bye.